Ever since that last Pokemon Presents that we got on Pokemon Day earlier in 2024, we've had zero news in regards to Pokemon. Like, it's been very, very quiet. After that huge announcement of Pokemon Legends ZA was announced on Pokemon Day, we've had literally no further updates. We've had nothing, no additional news about upcoming titles or anything that's in the works. In the majority of past years, we've always had Pokemon Presents or updates at various times throughout the year. But with a recent statement about spacing out development times for newer titles, rather than sticking to their very rigid one game a year cycle that we've seen ever since 2016 after the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon, things in the news department for Pokemon really have started to take a back seat. And it's all a guessing game, people saying, oh, we got a Pokemon Presents this time last year, so it must mean we're going to get one at the same time this year. It doesn't quite work like that. But one thing we know we can almost bank on is we should be getting some news very soon. And that information will be delivered at the upcoming 2024 Pokemon World Championships. Every single year since 2013 at the Pokemon World Championships, we've always had an opening or closing ceremony announcement with some news related to new upcoming things happening in the Pokemon universe. This doesn't always mean it has to be video game related though, because in past years we've seen announcements that haven't been related to video game content at all. But with the 2024 Pokemon World Championships only two weeks away as of recording this video, we will probably have our next installment of news at this event. The obvious thing that we could guess will be covered is the eagerly anticipated new Pokemon TCG Pocket app. This was revealed on Pokemon Day and is rumored to be releasing some point in 2024. So further information about this and a potential release date are pretty high on the expectations in the Pokemon community. Another thing is Pokemon Works. This is a collaboration between Pokemon, Game Freak and Ilka. Yes, the studio that was behind development of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, as well as Pokemon Home. But this new collaboration between the two companies for Pokemon Works has been announced, but not officially talked about. This could be a perfect time for them at the World Championships to further discuss what Pokemon Works is all about, what games they are working on, or mobile games, apps, etc. And just to give us a bit more insight and expectation from what to expect from this collaboration company, could be that Pokemon Works is going to be behind future Pokemon remakes, which would be very exciting. So an announcement of that sort could be possible at Worlds. I don't know how likely, but it's something to consider, especially because we've had that company formed earlier this year and no further information about it since. Now for a video game announcement, if we do get one, the obvious thing that they're probably likely to cover is going to be Pokemon Legends ZA. It's the only game that we've got in the pipeline at the minute that we know is coming out soon on a Nintendo Switch or Switch successor console. And it would make sense if we do get a video game announcement at the World Championships that we get some updates on this eagerly anticipated title. Is this when we will finally get a trailer that will reveal the starter Pokemon and show some actual gameplay footage along with some hidden easter eggs to keep us all guessing what it's about for the next six months. Or could we see no gameplay at all and more concept footage, maybe this time showing new mega Pokemon that will be appearing in Pokemon Legends ZA. There's a lot of questions up in the air because we have got very little information to go on, but these are the kinds of things that you would maybe expect to see at the World Championships with an announcement if they were focused around that new Pokemon Legends game. Another real curveball could be additional content for Scarlet and Violet. Pilot. Uh, maybe another epilogue style downloadable event or something along those lines. As much as I think we are done with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we can never say never. And one last piece of the puzzle to wrap up our adventures in Paldea will be something I think would excite a lot of Pokemon fans. This one to me though probably feels the most unlikely. I feel at this stage Scarlet and Violet feels kind of finished. I don't know if there is any room for them to add things in. Of course they can add additional content to it but with them putting probably so much resources into Pokemon Legends ZA I feel like at the moment the only additional content that we're going to get for Scarlet and Violet for the foreseeable future are going to be Raid and Mass Outbreak events. We could go one step further as well with the curveball and even throw in if they're scraping the barrel for having at least something video game content related to be announced at the world championships they could potentially port over the gb gba classic games to the switch this could be something we see them kicking off the reveal with in celebration of maybe even gold and silver remember it is their 25th anniversary this year in november and then 
once this announcement's been done, they give a big nod to the Johto regions. They lead into these games being now playable, accessible on the Nintendo Switch, which would then be followed up by the Generation 3 titles. And I think even though this isn't any new gameplay footage announcement or any new information, I think it would be enough to satisfy the Pokemon community at the minute. I mean, very exciting being able to get all of those Pokemon classic games on the Nintendo Switch to be able to play like we had on the Virtual Console on the 3DS systems. Again though, it does feel like a bit of a stretch to say that this is going to be the announcement at the World Championships. For something like this, it feels like it would be more suited for a real separate Pokemon Presents announcement from Pokemon, so I don't know whether or not we would see something like this. Again, just looking at potential options, we could see announced here if they don't touch upon things like Pokemon Legends ZA, or any additional Scarlet and Violet content. And one thing we can do to get maybe an idea of what we might see at the closing or opening ceremony at the World Championships in Honolulu in a couple of weeks time is by looking back at the past World Championships to see what was revealed at certain times. And this may give us a better idea of what sort of things we can expect to maybe see. Now in more recent times, 2023, the closing ceremony was the place where we got that announcement. And it was all about the Indigo Disc and new moves that would be available through that DLC content in Scarlet and Violet. The same could be said with the 2022 announcement in London where we had Scarlet and Violet information. We had new moves that would be available in Scarlet and Violet and touching upon how terrestrialization interacted in that game. Going back a bit further to 2019, the last World Championships before 2022, we saw a Sword and Shield trailer, but this was in the opening ceremony. So it's only the past couple of years where we've had this announcement drop in the closing ceremony. Before this, from 2013 all the way up to 2019, every announcement that we saw at the World Championships in regards to new projects, new games, TCG stuff or anything like that was always in that opening ceremony of the tournament. Whether they'll revert back to that structure, we might see that announced in Honolulu's opening ceremony, Probably more likely though that they do stick to the close and ceremony announcement to keep viewers watching, retaining them until that end point of the weekend. 2019, we had Sword and Shield, new moves, new abilities revealed. 2018 though, there was no new gameplay footage. There was no video game content revealed in that opening ceremony at the World Championships. It was all focused on the Pokemon TCG. Tag team cards were the thing that was featured. The Pikachu, the Zekrom card was revealed for the first time. And then we had a huge segment on the brand new Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie with the director coming up and some of the actors from the movie coming out and doing a little segment on that film, which was very exciting. But for us video game fans, we got no updates about upcoming titles. In 2017, we had new Z moves revealed, Koma O and its clangorous Soul Blaze. So that was for Ultra Sun and Moon. In 2016, we had a new Pokemon revealed at the World Championships, and that was Krabola going after things like Talonflame, Kangaskhan, all of the big meta Pokemon and being able to do big damage to them. So it was a bit of an exaggerated trailer, but a bit of a funny one. That was all about Sun and Moon, the upcoming title later that year. 2015 was another similar one to 2018, where we didn't get any main series video game content news. Uh, this was all focused around Pokemon Tournament, which was a new game at the time. So other than that, we got nothing, no TCG or anything like that. That was the only announcement of that Pokemon opening ceremony in 2015. 2014 in Washington, we had a new Mega Pokemon announced and that was Mega Slowbro. So that was for Auras, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. In 2013, we had the reveal that year in the opening ceremony of Mega Kangaskhan. So you can see throughout the list here, it's it's likely going to be the, the new format, what they've changed to from 2022 of a closing ceremony announcement. They could go back to an opening ceremony announcement. That's how the structure seemed to be from 2013 all the way to 2019. But I'm saying that it'll probably keep to that new structure. Might be something like that TCG pocket game or another new project that they're working on in the background. Now, there are two ways I think we can look at this year's World Championship announcement. One of those will see us receive information on the most relevant and closer to a release project of Pokemon TCG Pocket app. The other will see the majority of our wishes granted and see Pokemon Legends ZA trailer dropped. My problem with the latter is I just think we are still a long way off Pokemon Legends ZA being released with no gameplay footage revealed yet. Are they going to show this for the first time in a setting that primarily always focuses on more competitive aspects of a new video game rather than 
what would appeal to the general fan base. Now, I came into this video kind of convinced that we would get a Pokemon Legends EA trailer at the World Championships closing ceremony or opening ceremony. But the more I think about this now, and the more I look back at previous Worlds closing or opening ceremony announcements that we get, I don't think we're going to get a Legends ZA trailer or any Legends ZA news unless we do get a Pokemon Presents between this video going up and before the World Championships dropping. I think if we do get that separate Pokemon Presents outside of the World Championships, then yes, I could see some additional update at the World Championships covering separate things that maybe we missed out from that original trailer in the Pokemon Presents at the World Championships that has that bit more of a focus on competitive play. I unfortunately think for us video game fans, maybe another year for a Worlds announcement like 2015 or 2018, where other projects Pokemon are working on take precedent for their yearly Worlds announcement and not to be what everyone is expecting in Pokemon Legends EA. I could, of course, be very wrong about this. And that's the beauty about this conversation. If I am, I'm going to be the first person to hold my hands up and be super happy that we get some Pokemon Legends EA news. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think we will see. Do you think we'll get that Pokemon Legends EA trailer drop? Do you think we'll get more information on Legends EA? Or do you think we will get nothing at all a bit like myself? And they'll focus more on the projects that are right here in the present that are going to be dropping in 2024, not 2025. Of course, I will be out in Honolulu over the next couple of weeks at the World Championship. So it's going to be really good to come back and look at the comments after all the dust is settled from the World Championships after we've had that announcement. And you know what? Making this video now, we might not even get an announcement at the World Championships. I think that's pretty slim, but we might not. It's not something that's set in stone. If they've got no news to share. They've got no news to share. They can't just make things up out of thin air. And I don't think they're the kind of company that would just do things for the sake of doing it. I think they all have a plan. And if it doesn't fit in with their scheduling, I don't think we'll see anything at all. But we do know of a few projects like that Pokemon TCG Pocket app that is coming up soon this year. It's got a lot of hype, a lot of talk about it. So I feel like this is going to be probably the big talking point this year at Worlds. But like I said, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Do drop a like, do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content when it goes live. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.